Hello, and thank you for joining me from Evening Prayer from Church of the Good Shepherd. Let's take a few moments to collect ourselves, and then our service will begin on page 115 of the Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. I invite you now to join me in reading a portion of Psalm 18, verses 21 through 50, beginning on page 604 of the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord rewarded me because of my righteous dealing. Because my hands were clean, he rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not offended against my God. For all his judgments are before my eyes and his decrees I have not put away from me. For I have been blameless with him and have kept myself from iniquity. Therefore the Lord rewarded me according to my righteous dealing, because of the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With the faithful you show yourself faithful, O God. With the forthright you show yourself forthright. With the poor you show yourself pure. But with the crooked you are wily. You will save a lowly people, but you will humble the haughty eyes. You, O Lord, are my lamp. My God, you make my darkness bright. With you I will break down an enclosure. With the help of my God, I will scale any wall. As for God, his ways are perfect. The words of the Lord are tried in the fire. He is a sheer to all who trust him. For who is God but the Lord? Who is the rock except our God? It is God who girds me about with strength and makes my way secure. He makes me sure-footed like a deer and lets me stand firm on the heights. He trains my hands for battle and my arms for bending even a bow of bronze. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand also sustains me. Your loving care makes me great. You lengthen my stride beneath me and my ankles do not give way. I pursue mine enemies and overtake them. I will not turn back till I have destroyed them. I strike them down and they cannot rise. They fall defeated at my feet. You have girded me with strength for the battle. You have cast down my adversaries beneath me. You have put my enemies to flight. I destroy those who hate me. They cry out, but there is none to help them. They cry to the Lord, but he does not answer. I beat them small like dust before the wind. I trample them like mud in the streets. You deliver me from the strife of the peoples and put me at the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. No sooner shall they hear than they shall obey me. Strangers will cringe before me. The foreign peoples will lose heart. They shall cut tribbling out of their strongholds. The Lord lives, blessed is my rock, exalted is the God of my salvation. He is the God who gave me victory and cast down the peoples beneath me. You rescued me from the fury of my enemies. You exalted me above those who rose against me. You saved me from my deadly foe. Therefore, I will extol you among the nations, O Lord, and sing praises to your name. He multiplies the victories of his king. 
He shows loving kindness to his anointed, <coughs> to David and his descendants forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. As the disciples were talking about what happened on the road, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were, they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? Why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and see, I am sending you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven, and they worshiped him. They returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple blessing God. Here ends the reading. <clears throat> Please join me in the Magnificat found on page 119 of the Book of Common Prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. <clears throat> he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We'll continue, continue with suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, 
and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. Now it's time to offer our prayers of thanksgiving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We'll continue now with the general thanksgiving, praying together. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love, in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, I thank you so much for joining me this evening.